Greetings, my name is Kerry and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I have for you an unboxing video and this is of the Ninja Book Box Summer Reading Adventure Collection. Um, and I also have received a couple of other bookish parcels in the last few days so I'm gonna um, open them for you as well during this video so it's gonna be a bit of a, a mini haul um, which is quite exciting. Um, the books that I ordered I know what they are but the uh, Ninja Book Box I have no idea what the books are until I open it. Um, so a bit of background because um, you have maybe heard me talk about Ninja Book Box before so they are a great little business um, they have a quarterly subscription service uh, in which you receive a book and several uh, themed items. So the book and the items are all the same theme. Um, all the books are independently published and are handpicked um, by the Ninja Book Box team. Um, and if you have a full sub subscription, you get several items. You can also have a mini subscription, which you get the book and one item. Um, and I think they're also introducing uh, just the book option um, for those on a on a tighter budget. Um, so I've been subscribing to Ninja Book Box uh, for over a year now and I love them. Um, and then, so they do the quarterly boxes but then they also sometimes do standalone boxes. Um, so, so this is the summer reading box collection, the theme is Journeys. Um, and in the one-off boxes, it's slightly different. So in this box you get three books and no additional items, um, which is fine for me. Um, I just love the books. All the books I've had from Ninja Book Boxes I've really enjoyed so far. Um, they also run the Ninja Book Club, which um, I mentioned in my wrap up video. Um, so I've got that book to read as well this month. Um, so you can also subscribe to that and I'll put their website and some more details down in the description box. Um, I checked a minute ago and they do still have uh, the summer reading box available for purchase. They also still have some of their May subscription boxes available. So if you want to find out a bit more about them, definitely check out their website. And I think they're really good value for what you get in the box. Um, sales pitch over. Uh, so now to the unboxing. Now, I got home today and I found this parcel on my doorstep. Um, sadly, Royal Mail has slightly trashed my parcel. So hopefully it's all there and it's all still in um, okay condition. Um, I saw a tweet from Ninja Book Box earlier to say that a number of people have had a similar problem. Um, so I'll be in touch with them and with Royal Mail if there's anything apparently missing from the parcel. Um, and it also may mean it will take me a little bit longer to get into because I've got all this tape and plastic um, to get through. In fact, I'm just going to grab my scissors. have a look at that later and see if there's somewhere I can contact Royal Mail to find out what's gone on. Um, hopefully the books are still in good condition. You can see how damaged the, the packaging is. It's just falling straight off there. So, oops. So you get a little uh, description card that is just a little letter from Ninja Book Box. Um, and uh, they're all surprised, so there's no spoilers on this card. Um, there is a little spoiler envelope, which they usually have more details about the book, the author, the publisher, that sort of thing. Um, and you also get these little bookmarks, which are quite cute. And they've got some fun facts on them about journeys. So one says, go by car. Um, and it has a game on the back, a singing game to play on long journeys. Um, person one starts singing a song using a lyric from that song, the next person starts another song. Um, so it's a bit like a sing-off, so that's quite fun. Um, this one says go by boat and it's got details about some of the longest uh, rivers and biggest, the biggest, oh sorry, the longest boat journey in the world is 32,000 kilometres journey between Pakistan and Russia. Uh, there's evidence of an underground, underground river beneath the Amazon River that's 
as long and potentially hundreds of times wider and 17 countries in the world have no rivers at all. I didn't know those facts, that's very interesting. And the last one says, go by rocket. Uh, Neil Armstrong Barber once sold his hair to a fan for $3,000 and was sued. Um, the International Space Station has more livable space than a six bedroom house and Eugene Gemmon, the last man to walk on the moon, wrote his daughter's initials on the surface. So those are some fun facts and little bookmarks. You always get some handmade, um, some unique bookmarks with Ninja Book Box and produced just by them. Um, so onto the, onto the books and there are three books as I say in this parcel. So they're all individually wrapped. Um, so I'm going to unwrap this one first because I think I've just seen on the spine through the paper what it is and if it is, yes it is, I'm super excited because I've been wanting to read this book for ages. It was featured on the Ninja Book Box blog a little while ago. Um, so uh, the, the blurb says JJ Walsh and Tony El Greco Papa Dacus are inseparable, smoking Kent's out on an abandoned cannery dock and watching girls sway on rusting boys they dream of adventure. Set in small town New Jersey in the 1960s, dust follows the boys through the dry heat of their formative years. They face religious piety, sex, tragedy and ultimately the myriad things that combine to make life what it is for the two friends, a great adventure. But it's a road trip through the heart of southern America with JJ's father that reveals a darker side to life. And so that's Dust by Mark Thompson, as I say, I've been wanting to read this for ages. And we've got a little uh, signed uh, book plate, um, which is really cool. And a little business card for the author with all his contact details on. So that's awesome. I'm so excited for that. Um, the next one is... This is called The Last Pilot by Benjamin Johncock. I think this is one that's been nominated a couple of times for a book club that hasn't won, so that's quite cool too. Uh, it says, set against the backdrop of one of the most emotionally charged periods in American history, this breathtaking debut begins in the bone-dry Mojave Desert during the late 1940s, where US Air Force test pilots are racing to break the sound barrier. Among the exalted few is Jim Harrison, dedicated to his wife Grace and their baby daughter. By the 1960s, the space race is underway and Harrison and his colleagues are offered a place in history as the world's first astronauts. But when his young family is thrown into crisis, Jim is faced with a decision that will affect the course of the rest of his life and whether to accept his ticket to the moon and at what cost. So that sounds really exciting as well. Um, space adventure there. And the last book, The Red Beach Hut by Lynn Michelle, I think that's pronounced. This has also been featured on uh, the Ninja Book Box blog as well, um, as one that uh, Bex, who runs uh, Ninja Book Box, really loves. Um, so the this one says, A faded seaside town in autumn is the backdrop for this el elegiac story of a vulnerable boy and the adult who befriends him. Eight-year-old Neville, who counts stars and steps, and grains of sand is the first to notice that the red beach hut is occupied again. Abbott is on the run from his job and his demons after a disturbing cyber attack. Kindred spirits, man and boy collide. Their fleeting friendship played out on the margins of sea and shore brings the honesty and compassion both seek. But others watch, judge and misinterpret what they see and Abbott's past runs at their heels. So that sounds really good too, um, and again, it's one that uh, I know Bex has really enjoyed. Um, I think I mentioned all the books are from independent publishers, so um, Dust is published by Red Door Publishing, um, The Last Pilot is published by Myriad, and The Red Beach Hut is published by Linen Press, and I've read a Linen Press book before and it was really good, so I'm quite excited for all of those. So my phone just ran out of memory, so hopefully I've got the uh, the angles right for resetting um, and I'll be able to carry on with filming the video. Um, so that was the uh, Ninja Book Box and my reading box um, and now to the rest of the bookish posts that I've received in the last couple of days. So this one that arrived today um, and I'm quite excited about it. Let's 
So there's a letter from the publisher there. Um, this book is called Murder Under the Palms by Paula Lennon. Uh, this is the sequel to a book called Murder in Montego Bay, um, which was our Ninja Book Club pick for the month of April. Um, and we all really enjoyed that book. Um, it's a murder mystery uh, set in Jamaica. Um, the main character is a Jamaican detective um, and called Rathan Preddy. And it was a really enjoyable book. And this is the follow up. Um, so I pre-ordered this through Ninja Book Box um, and it's just come today. Um, so that's pretty exciting. Um, let's go for this one next. This one um, is the book I ordered from Wordery. Um, and it's by another independent publisher. Um, it's called Celestial Bodies um, by Jocka Al Alharthi, I think that's pronounced. Apologies if I've got that wrong. Um, I saw this again <laughs> on the Ninja Book Box blog. Um, it's a, again by a independent publisher called Sandstone Press and this book is uh, set in Oman um, and I'm attempting to read a book from every country in the world um, or by an author from that country so this will tick off Oman for me on that challenge. Um, so uh, I'll read the blurb for you. In the village of Al Awafi in Oman live three sisters. Maya marries after a heartbreak. Asma marries from a sense of duty. Kaula rejects all offers while waiting for her beloved, who has emigrated to Can Canada. Elegantly structured, Celestial Bodies is the story of the history and people of modern Oman told through one family's losses and loves. So that sounds brilliant to me. I'm so really excited for that one. And finally, um, this is a book I ordered from Abe Books, who are a brilliant website for um, used and out of print books. Um, so if I can get it out of the envelope. Uh, this is called Lady Bet and the Murder of Mr. Thin. So um, the story behind this book is uh, a couple of weeks ago, my friend and I went to Petworth House in Surrey um, just for a day out. It's a National Trust uh, property. And this year, the National Trust are highlighting uh, the stories of fascinating women related to their houses. Um, so at one point there was a display about this lady, Lady Bet, um, who I believe was married three times by the time she was 16 or something like that. And um, the, her second husband died in mysterious circumstances. And as we were reading the poster about her, I said to my friend, someone should really write a novel about her because that sounds really fascinating. And sure enough, when we got down to the shop, a novel had been written about her, which is this one. Um, I didn't buy it on the day um, and really regretted it. So I came home and found it on a books um, and managed to get the hardback for quite cheap really because it's a used book but it's actually in pretty good condition so I'm really excited to read this one. Um, I love National Trust houses and I love learning about the stories of the families that lived in those properties um, so when they have novels um, about the about the people or um, sort of published versions of their diaries that sort of thing I always find it really interesting to find out that a little bit more about them so really excited about this one so that is my mini haul um if you're interested to know more about Ninja Book Box or Ninja Book Club there'll be loads of details about them below um they're a really great little business um so fully recommend supporting them and again um support independent publishers by checking out their books um and if you can buy them directly from the publisher, do that because um, they just get so much more. Um, they have to heavily discount if they're um, being bought from bookshops and online sellers. So if you can buy direct from the publishers, it does them a world of good. Um, so I'll put all the information about the books in the description box below. And uh, if I can, I'll put links to the publishers as well if you can buy direct from them. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.